Hello everyone, this is Joe Speg Network TV bringing to you more accurate news from all around the world. Please kindly subscribe to our channel if you're yet to do so, and if you have done so, we say thank you. Now to the news EFCC investigating over two, 200 billion naira from Zamfara, ex governor, Yari's administration. EFCC investigating over 200 billion naira from Zamfara's ex governor, Yari's administration. The Sokoto Zona Office of the EFCC on Monday stated it is currently investigating a total sum of 200 billion naira in Zamfara state in relation to the former governor, Yari's administration. Sokoto Zona head of the EFCC, Abdullahi Lawal, revealed this as the commission handed over 53 tricycles Kekenapep recovered from a contractor to the Zamfara state government. EFCC is currently investigating over 60 cases from Zamfara state in relation to the past administration. This includes cases against individuals, public and private organizations, as well as government ministries, departments and agencies. The total sum involved is over 200 billion naira. Several banks accounts connected to fraudulent activities have been frozen by the commission, Lawal says. According to a press statement by the Commission uh, Media and Publicity, Williams, Lawal also said the fear of EFCC investigation has compelled several contractors who collected billions of naira from Zamfara State but failed to develop or to deliver to, to deliver to return to site. The recovered tri-slice tri, uh, tri was quiz to investigation on a contract that was initially awarded to Wada Twa at a total cost of 1.2 billion naira for the supply of 1,000 tricycles. Investigation revealed that only 947 units we are supplied before the expiration of the tenor of the immediate past administration in Zamfara State. In his response, the secretary to the Zamfara State government, who received the 53 recovered tric tricycles on behalf of Zamfara State government, Al Hajibala Belo, commended the commission for its achievement so far in the zone. He assured the Commission of the state government's readiness to give necessary support to it at all times. We will provide the list of those going to, be, to benefit these tricycles and, and as well invite EFCC to come and witness the distribution, he says. I mean, it, I mean, it left right everywhere you look at in nigeria is they're just talking about looting talking about stealing money everywhere you, you can't imagine what does amfara state have they don't even have anything that they can call okay this is what we produce you know but at least they are gaining from the allocations, from the federal government allocations. But look at the way they are distributing the allocations being given to them. Just look at the way they are distributing it. You know, just you just check out. Later now we'll be saying they are witch hunting somebody. But seriously, if these people did not commit these crimes, EFCC will not go after them. It is because they committed these crimes that is why EFCC is going after them. 
200 billion they've killed they've did they, they already killed that state already how can that state have infrastructures how can they have good potable water when one person is embezzling more than 200 billion naira already from the uh, from 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 their purse from the government purse they can't even say this is how they spent the money because they just share the money between themselves nobody will say anything after all we've been doing it before and we get away with it so this one will not be different that is their thinking and they keep embezzling this money killing the their citizens because once you don't do what you're supposed to do once you don't provide basic amenities to your citizens directly or indirectly you're killing them you're killing their education you're killing their infrastructures you're killing their economy and that is what has been happening all over nigeria go to lagos the case of looting is there go to ibadan the case of looting is there go to enugu the case of looting is there go to emo state the case of looting is there so it's like everywhere you turn to in this dispensation is all about stealing money stealing money here stealing money here you, you know just to better their own lot to better their own family they don't care about o- other people they don't even care about how they got there in the first place so is this the way democracy democracy works in other places in other in other nations in other countries this is not the way democracy work then democracy is not a license for you to be stealing from government posts or to be looting money at will that is not democracy that is not democracy in fact I, w- I can even say it that the military era itself they don't even loot like this they don't loot like this go to the house of assembly they loot money there go to the senate they loot money there the the Aso rock is not is not you can't even say anything about them they loot money there everywhere you turn to in nigeria everybody is just about stealing 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 and you want nigeria to be to be to be good and you want our economy to be good how can our economy be good this one just this one percent people this one percent of people they are the one destroying the economy of the country they are the one giving us bad names all around the world they are the one we in the midst of plenty we are living like a pauper times are hard things are hard people can people can't even afford three square meal anymore no good road no good hospitals no water no light so what are they really giving us except for they just loot the money they just loot the money all the time that is all they know how to do if places like Zamfara they can be investigating about 200 billion naira as small as Zamfara is they they've already crippled the economy of that state already no wonder nothing is working there no wonder nothing is working Huh? No wonder. All the time, they just loot, they just loot and embezzle and embezzle our money. It is unfair. It is unfair. Uh, it is unfair for the Nigerian citizen. It is very, very unfair. Nothing is working. And still yet, 
you're looting, stealing from us, we the citizens. And if anybody talks now, you will say they are witch hunting you. If you if you if if they didn't do it, they won't they won't even witch hunt them now in the first place. It is because they did it that is why EFCC is witch hunting them. If there is anything like that. There are so many people in Nigeria that should be in jail right now. That should be in jail right now. Just imagine, they don't even know how they spent the money. 200 billion naira. They don't know how they spent it. They can't even account for it. And it is a lie. They know how they spent it. It's just that they know they stole it. And that's why they can't account for it. I don't know. I don't know. It is high time with the masses. Stand up on our right. Stand up on our feet. And begin to, to, to question all these leaders. And begin to and begin to th- take what belongs to us from them back. It is time. It is high time. What do you think about this particular news? Kindly um, leave your comment in the comment box for us. And please, once again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're yet to do so. And if you have done so, we say a very big thank you to you. Bye.